Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Tiger Vision News. I'm Audrey. And I'm Lauren. And, and TVN, TVN starts right, right now. Congratulations to April Seniors of the Month, Brooke Hatchett and Hayden Burt. Juniors, if you are planning to attend OU, the university offers a unique summer program from June 11th to July 6th. See Mr. French for our scholarship opportunity for that. Seniors, let your counselors know as soon as possible if you've received any institutional scholarships, even if you plan to decline. And if anyone is planning on or has already enlisted in any branch of the U.S. military, see Mr. French as soon as possible. We'd like to congratulate our own Gabriel Reed for receiving a superior rating at State Solo Competition on Tuesday. And now if you'll please join us for a moment of silence. Would you please stand for our Pledge of Allegiance to the American flag? Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This broadcast is brought to you by Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Keith's Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, Fort Gibson Education Foundation, Info Media, Dr. Debbie Coy, The Tiger's Den, Mike Cooper Tractors, Fort Gibson State Bank, and Green Country Lanes and Muskogee Skate Center. Juniors, next Tuesday, April 24th is the makeup day to take your ACT if you couldn't make the date last week. ACT scores are very important for getting into colleges and quite a few of our awesome seniors have achieved that goal with their high scores and will be recognized for their scholastic achievements. Stay tuned for that story after a word from one of our sponsors. Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory wish to personally invite you and your family to come tour the newest funeral home and the only crematory in Muskogee. Cornerstone welcomes the opportunity to answer any questions regarding planning and pre-arrangements for you and your loved ones. At Cornerstone, you'll find a helpful professional staff and beautiful surroundings. Come experience the difference at Cornerstone Funeral Home, 1830 North York, Muskogee, where you will find faces you know and reputations you trust. This year, the Red and White Banquet will be on April 21st at 6 p.m. at ICTC. You can bring parents, but remember, no grandparents, siblings, or distant relatives. Dinner is provided for both you and your parents. Seniors who qualify to be a White Scholar have to have a 3.5 GPA or higher and a 22 on the ACT. Red Scholars have to have a 25 on the ACT and a 4-point GPA. Remember... You know, pay attention in your classes. Don't be afraid to try AP classes if you can get into them. They're not as intimidating as what you might think. It'll help raise your GPA. Study before an ACT. I made that mistake my first time because uh, it wasn't very good. Don't procrastinate. It's the worst thing you can do. Study. Make sure you do good on tests. And always do your homework. <laughs> We hope to see parents there supporting their kids, but if you have grandparents or relatives that would like to see you receive your awards, have them tune in to FortGibsonTigers.tv to tune in to the live broadcast. Congratulations to 2017-18 Red and White Scholars. This is Audrey Gillum reporting for Tiger Vision News. Another congrats to those scholars for working so diligently throughout high school. Yeah, that's really great. Tiger Vision will be broadcasting that event live so friends and family members can watch. Now let's find out this week's weather forecast. Cooper? Thanks, Audrey. We will have increasing clouds during the day as a storm system will be approaching, but the afternoon highs should be able to reach the upper 60s, and for Saturday, showers will be possible in the morning with rain and some thunderstorms becoming likely by the afternoon with overcast skies. 
Morning lows will be in the mid 40s and the daytime highs all the way in the upper 50s. As for Sunday morning, rain is likely before the sunrise, ending by early mid morning. It will be most likely cloudy with lows near 50 and around the highs near 60, with a sunny breeze late in the day. Brisk northerly winds expected, however, for the beginning of next week, we will return to the 70s for afternoon highs in the 50s for lows and partly cloudy skies. As always, though, we would like to thank Channel 6 for providing this week's weather graphic. And now let's flip it over to Noah for Riddle Me This. Schools teach us that intelligence is measured by how well we do on tests. But I'm here to prove that intelligence is measured by how well you perceive a question. This is Riddle Me This. You ready for a rule? Uh, sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, what do you have to break before using it? What do you break before you use it? What do you have to break before using it? My heart. Promise? <laughs> no. <laughs> An egg? Yes. What? Why'd you go? <laughs> An egg? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> An egg. I don't know. I give up. An egg. Wow. I'm out. That's all the time I have for this week. See you next week on Tiger Vision News. FFA had several students who were state qualifiers in the Greenland Quiz Bowl. Jacob Yoder, Trent Downey, Cameron O'Dell, Sarah Phillips, and Garen Court. And discovering 8th grade quiz bowl placed second today at Tecumseh with Peyton Bollinger, Lane Howard, Caden Cooper, and Connor Loeb. Our soccer tigers and lady tigers had two great victories over our rival Hilldale on Tuesday night. Awesome job. Let's see what Katie has to say for this week's Tiger Sports. Thanks, Lauren. Our baseball boys started out yesterday competing in the Oak Mulgee Tournament, so wish them luck as they continue through today. Today, our girls and boys soccer teams will be back in action after their big wins against Hilldale on Tuesday. The girls were at Porter at 5 o'clock, excuse me, the girls are at Porter at 5 o'clock, and the boys at Hugo at 7. Come out and support if you can. In girls golf, Rachel Somlis was all-conference last week, and they placed third as a team. Rachel had a record round, scoring a 79 at Mohawk Golf Course. They have placed third as a team at their last three tournaments and will travel to Grove next week for the regional tournament at Patricia Island to compete and see if they will advance to the 4A state tournament. Tomorrow, our track team will be in Verdigris Valley Conference, so wish them luck before they leave. Fort Gibson softball Lady Tigers played very well in districts last week, taking the district title, and they will have a game next Monday here at home. If you can't make it to that game, be sure to tune in to ForgibsonTigers.tv to watch the live broadcast. Have a great weekend, Tigers. Stay tuned for an interesting piece over the new face around campus. Renfro Electric has been in business for over 35 years and is a full-service electrical contractor for all of Oklahoma. We are able to serve our customers with superior craftsmanship and top-notch service. With over 40 employees and a bonding capacity in excess of $6 million, we can handle those larger jobs but are still small enough to provide the personal service our customers have come to expect. For any electrical needs, give us a call at 918-687-7535. You may have heard that our schools have a new resource officer who started working here just a few weeks ago. Her name is PJ Ossaway and I have the opportunity to speak with her so that we all can get to know her a little bit more. I am born and raised from Richardson, Texas, but I live in Tahoe, Oklahoma now. I patrol around the schools. I'm a city police officer, but I'm stationed here at the schools. So I'll be going back and forth from middle school, high school, elementaries, and pre-Ks, just making sure everybody's safe and that there's nothing out of place. If anybody ever has any kind of questions, they can come up to me and ask me, and that's what I'm here for. Um, I love to be able to communicate with everybody, uh, getting to watch people learn and grow and hear what's going on in their lives is partially why I like this job. The other part is I like to drive fast. I get to drive fast every once in a while. I've 
heard wonderful things about Fort Gibson. I had a lot of friends that went to school here, um, a lot of friends that work in the area, and they talked nothing but great of the high school and all the schools around. So being here, it felt like home as soon as I started. It was really nice meeting the Officer PJ. If you see Officer PJ, don't be afraid to ask her any questions or just say hi. This is Todd's reporting for Tiger Vision News. If I drove a squad car, you can bet I'd drive fast too. <laughs> I would if I could drive. Teens for Christ and FCA will be meeting today in the old gym. Michael Adair will be speaking. So bring your lunch and join us. Now to Tots for this week's elementary episode of Meet the Teacher to Miss Garrett. You see them every day, but yet you don't know much about them. Now it's time to learn more about your educator on this week's episode of Meet the Teacher. My favorite food is Mexican. I'm married. I have, I'm married to Cliff Garrett. I have two children. Cameron is a freshman in college and Carson is an eighth grader at the middle school and he plays in the band. Favorite TV series is House Hunters on HGTV. My birthday is May 13th. I'm not telling you the year. <laughs> Thank you for sharing with us. We'll see you next time on Meet the Teacher. Thanks for watching this week's episode of TVN. I'm Lauren. And I'm Audrey. Tune in next week for more Tiger Vision news.